Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're enjoying the um, nice weather we're finally having. It's been um, British weather typically, up and down, like a yo-yo. But we finally got a bit of a sunny streak. Uh, I have a few shopping hauls for you. Been to a few shops, thought I'd lay it on the table and show you what I've got. Um, on the off chance you might be interested or if you're a mum and um, you need some school uniform bits and you like look at these you might want to go and get them so um, I've been to Matalan got a few bits in there I've got two pairs of trainers for the kids for school I've got Haley's and Shane's and also something that I've just found out about from Sports Direct then I've got Home Bargains haul and then a couple of bits from home base so um nothing really exciting no new things that i found well tell a lie there was a few little things that are new to me from home bargains whether they're new to you or not but um let's get on and show you what i've got from matalan um so i managed to save quite a bit in there because i had an email come through saying um i would get 20 percent off if I spend £30 or more. And being as though Hayley's in primary school, I can get the majority of her school uniform from there, which is a bonus. So in Matalan, I spent, if it's going to focus, here's all the items, how much they would have cost, and then with the 20% off, do, 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 it came to £88 35p. And for what I've got, I think that's really good, um, but to be truthful, it probably won't last very long because this is Hayley. Hayley destroys her clothes, to be truthful, I'm afraid, so um, that is why I'm glad that I can get it cheaply from the supermarkets until next year when she starts secondary school. But um, let's start at the back and show you what I've got, and I'll show you this as best I can, considering I'll be doing it one-handed. So we'll start here, literally bog standard polo t-shirts. You got two in a pack and they were six pounds. I got her the age 13 and they're the feet, the girl ones. So they've got a nice scalloped collar. There's three packs there. So she's got one for every day of the week, even though two days of the week they go in their PE kit. So I've got plenty there for when she starts ruining them <laughs> um at her school she can wear a track suit for pe as well as um she'll have a t-shirt which is like the house colors which is red blue green or yellow where the school is divided into sections um little house party like house where they earn points and all that lot but um for her pe kit for winter she's got these joggers which were seven pounds Again, I got her age 13, because we got her to try them on. Really nice and elasticated. So I really can't do this one-handed. I really need to start getting it on the tripod. Cords so that she can tighten them up if she needs to. And at the feet, they are, um, what do you call it, cuffed, if that makes sense. So she's got black tracksuit bottoms or jogger bottoms and they've just fell on the floor. And then she's got the matching hoodie. So that will go over her PE t-shirt if she gets cold, which is very unlike her. That can go over there. Um, Hayley wears leggings rather than... Um, uh, school trousers because she just doesn't like the um, fabric of school trousers and her school allow for them to wear leggings so I've picked her up four pairs well yeah four pairs of um, black leggings in age 13 they were six pounds so I didn't tell you how much the hoodie cost if I didn't show you the tag there it is right so the hoodie was eight pounds really need to put this on the tripod really um i have got her a couple of skirts um hopefully she'll wear them you know you never know with her the weather's still nice when they go back so um i've got her some cycling shorts 
to go underneath the skirts so that she doesn't go flashing her undies to everyone because she's not exactly a girly girl and um, wouldn't realise that she's doing it. So cycling shorts, uh, two pairs of black, well, two packs of um, trainer socks for her for £2.50. You get five in a pack. So they're for her. Chloe, another pack of three tights in small and then the, the 80 thickness, like the density. So she has six pairs of tights now for school. Um, these are the skirts that I've got for Hayley. They're nice and light, which is really nice. So they're, they're floaty and they're really nice. She liked the design that goes on the skirt there. It was a twin pack for £16. Um, <laughs> she did look quite funny in them though because I've had to get her the size 13, like the age 13. But where she's still really quite short, they looked really, really long. They were like knee, high, knee long skirts. So hopefully she'll be alright with them and she actually will wear them. And then three items that aren't clothing and that I didn't plan on getting. These are what Chloe chose. We went past the reduced section and saw this lovely blanket, grey, and it's got little ball balls on it. So she wanted that and threw that in the trolley. £6.50 reduced from £12.50. And then she picked up this lovely bedding set. I pointed out for Steve and myself, but... Um, for some reason, I just didn't pick it up, um, but she did instead. She picked up a double for her, and it's lovely stars and moons and suns and white lot, and it's reversed. So on one side, it's grey, as you can see, and then on the other side, it's white with grey design. Um, £14 for that. So she's going to put that on her bed, and I will insert a photo so that you can see it all made up and lovely. And then behind the trainer box, I got a new fruit and veg, well, fruit uh, basket. I love these. It literally is, it swings both, well, it should swing both sections. It was £10. I could have got it in the white or the black, and we got the black. Um, I've been fighting with Nathan to get it off him. He keeps running off of it and putting his toys in it and making it swing. So um, I can imagine once I set it up with fruiting on the sideboard, which will be in his reach, I can imagine coming out here and he's thrown all the fruit everywhere and he's got his toys in there. So um, that will be all fun and games. So that is everything we got from Matalan. Nothing really exciting. And then trainers. I thought I would just insert and show you what trainers Shane and Hayley chose for school. Because at their schools they can wear trainers as long as they're all black. These are Shane's. Literally, to be truthful with him, he doesn't care what's, what he looks like, what he wears on his feet. Um, but he literally, it was this and one other pair. He kind of grabbed the first ones that he saw. Um, I'll put the price on the screen for you because I can't remember how much they cost. And then Hayley chose these trainers which again are nike but they're air max nice black ones and they should be nice and comfy for her or we thought anyway um she was complaining that there was a bit at the back that was aggravating her so the gentleman that was serving us said have you tried the gel heel grips and i was like no i've known about like the memory foam ones and all that lot but um, he brought these over and he let her try one out because they had trial ones. And um, they are literally like gel that you just put in the trainer. And it's got, if I can get one out one-handed, I'll show you. Oh, hang on. Chloe, do you want to hold the phone for me or you want to get them out for me? So I've got Chloe in the room with me. There we go. This is what it looks like. It literally goes in the shoe. It's got protective covering on at the moment there and there. So it does stick in the shoe. It cushions the underneath and then it cushions the back as well. So um, they're really good for children that have sensory issues as well. He said that he sold a lot of them 
to um, children that go to specialist schools this year. Um, so yeah, I got them. New thing for me. How much were they, Chloe? Six pounds. They were six pounds for anyone that has children that has trouble with shoes. There's something you could try. So that is the boring things over and done with, really, from Matalan and Sports Direct. Now, home bargains. I spent. Do 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 do. Here's my receipt. Here's all the items. Do 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 do. I end up spending sixty pounds seventy six p in there. So let's show you what we got. Shampoo and conditioner. I've got this L'Oreal Elviv Dream Length Restoring Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm going to stop using Pantene Pro-V for a little while because it's been making my hair greasy. So I'm going to mix it up. And it worked out cheaper and better in the long run to get the bigger bottles rather than the smaller bottles, which were like 225 And this is double the amount in there as well. So I've got them. I got my usual whiz antibacterial washing stuff that goes in every wash, three caps falls, and it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, even on a cool wash. So at least I know germs are getting killed. We got the bright whites, the pink stuff. This I always have on hand for all the school shirts and everything, helps keep them white and tries to help keep the stains at bay. <laughs> Uh, then we have here some new items that I've not seen before. Some cans of fizzy drink, which is Wham, and it's sour raspberry flavoured fizzy drink. It's a small can, uh, 250 mils. They look really nice, and I thought it would be nice on a um, on a hot day with loads of ice. Then I thought this one would be nice for my mum because she absolutely loves fruit salads. It's raspberry and pineapple flavoured fizzy drink. And then I think Chloe fancied the dib dab, didn't you, Chloe? Yeah. Yeah. So it's um, strawberry and lemonade flavoured dib dab fizzy drink. There's something new that we haven't seen. They might have been in the shop for ages, but we just haven't seen them. Chloe picked up this vitamin B blow dry spray for volume. Then Steve put some air freshener in the trolley. That is for him to go in his work car. Because being a mechanic, to and fro work, it does honk a little bit <laughs> of um, grease and all that sort of stuff. So that will be going in there. And then Chloe picked up this Faith in Nature coconut shampoo to try. Again, I think that's new. I've not seen it about. Um, but she wanted to give that a go and try. These I haven't seen before. They're pet hair and lint catchers that go in the tumble dryer. Yep, yeah, right there. Um, removes let, uh, pet hair and lint from clothes. And it's gentle on clothing, reusable. They go in the tumble dryer whenever you have clothes to dry. <laughs> um, obviously, I thought these would be fantastic knowing that I've got four rag dolls. And then I've got kittens as well and my German Shepherd. There's a lot of hair in the house. I keep on top of it, I hoover every day, but you just can't prevent hair getting on clothes and I just thought that would help remove it off of our washing. So you get three in a pack. I picked up two packs because Nathan tends to run off with my tumble drying balls anyway. Uh, Dr Beckman Glow Whites. Um, three sachets in a box. Every week or, well, every couple of weeks, once the kids go back to school, I'll do a hot wash with their shirts. Obviously not straight away, but like a couple of months in to try and keep the shirts nice and pearly white. I've picked up five packets of these um, heat relief self-warming patches for my back. Um, these are a godsend at the moment. I'm literally wearing one every single day at like the arch of my back because um painkillers just isn't touching it at the moment and with all the medications that I am on I can't take anything else and I can't sit in a hot bath every day all day <laughs> because I have to live my life so at least with this I can keep the heat on there that 
kind of eases it from time to time and they're quite reasonably priced so i got five of them already started because i needed one on in the shop instant noodles for the kids um they only had one pack of these it was six for 99p picked up steve some more of these chili fire extreme flavored noodles four in a pack and i think they were just over a pound he loved them last time I will not be in the kitchen when he cooks them next time because literally I was choking because you could taste the heat in the air when you open the sachets. They were spicy. So if you do like a really good kick spicy item, go to Home Bargains and get some of them and try it and test yourself. See if you can handle it. Uh, Chloe picked up a couple more Johnson's Soft Palm, Soft and Pamper Body Washes. We have here um, pineapple and lily aroma. And then we have the watermelon and rose aroma. So she's that's why she's angling around. She wants them so she can go and um, use them. And then what else do we have? A long handled lighter because on those cold days I do like to have candles lit at night time or up on a high shelf to make it feel a bit more cosier so we needed another one of them chloe needed some fine tip um like felt tips for her artwork so we picked them up two Kit Kat chunkies that i've not seen before you may have done but i haven't we've got the peanut butter one so steve's gonna have that and then this one's hazelnut cream and i love all hazelnut cream filling stuff like buenos and that so I am going to have that. And then Nathan has curly hair for anyone that is new here. He is my two and a half year old. He We do put it up from time to time. He has lovely blonde curly hair. Um, I won't cut it. He does let us put it up every now and then. But most of the time it is down. And it does get a bit frizzy at the back. So I thought I'd get some of this to try and tame it a little bit. And see if that keeps the frizz at bay. Hayley's got a push pop because she was being such a good girl in the shop. Three um, jars of chicken paste. I didn't realise that we had completely run out of this in the cupboard. Hayley loves it as a sandwich filling or on wraps. So they are for her. I got some of these like stick on self adhesive hooks that are going to go on my kitchen cupboard next to my cooker like up high for my measuring cups and spoons to go on. So they're quick and easy for me to get hold of while I'm cooking. And it keeps my, util my utensil drawer neater. So there's them. Three of these Passion Peel Off face masks. I've not seen this one before. Um, I'm going to have a pamper evening with one of my good friends. Well, a lot of my friends actually. There's three of them, three of my best friends. And maybe some of the teenage girls as well. But no boys, no young kids, so that we can properly relax and enjoy ourselves. So I've got them to add to the collection that I'm building up for that evening. Some woolly tumble dryer balls. These are great to help speed up um, washing to dry. And obviously winter and autumn are coming. <laughs> um, and we're going to have to use our tumble dryer a little bit more. And these just help speed it up a little bit if that makes sense they bash about and um let the air get in there a lot more so that is everything that i got from home bargains um did i show you the receipt did i show the receipt chloe yeah so um i showed you the receipt the prices are all on there but if you don't want to go back and you just want to know the price of an item just drop me a comment down below and i'll be more than happy to tell you how much that item costs and then I'll just show you two items, or three items, that I quickly bought from Homebase that I thought was absolutely great. It's for all those men that um, love a beer. I thought this would be great. This is for um, my friend's partner. Um, she's gonna, I'm going to get to hang it up in her kitchen for him. It is a bottle opener, as you can see there, but it hangs up. And it's Ben's Chore Chooser. And literally, he spins a dial, but it always falls on the beer. So, um, 
he always gets a beer rather than um, having to wash up, clean a car or exercise. They were six ninety nine each and they had a lot of names. So if you know someone that likes a beer, go to Homebase and see if you can pick up one of them. It'd be a nice, nice little um, gift for someone. And then for myself, I've got a little table out in my hallway and it looked a bit bare so I picked myself up a lovely orchid to go there and it needed a plant pot so I bought myself a plant pot to go with it so nothing really exciting the orchid was £10 and the pot I think was £6 yeah, yeah £6 so I bought them Steve bought a new hose pipe because our one just exploded we had one of those retractable ones that retracts down when the tap it shrivels up that's it when the taps on it expands and then when the water's off it retracts or shrivels up as chloe just said um that just exploded on them so we need a new hose pipe and i can't show you that because he's already using it and the hose pipe cost 19 pounds so um that is everything i bought today i do have a few items that i've recently bought from amazon so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the table and I will show you what I've recently been buying off of Amazon because some of these items I think are really good and would be great for any family that do a lot of baking, cooking or some cool items that would be great for pet lunches. So um, I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> 